Greetings everybody, this is Leviathan here and today we've got a BlizzCon update for you guys. Uh, as you know, it's now October 1st as I'm recording this today, Tuesday. We're heading into the final weeks before BlizzCon 2019 rolls around the corner. And that means we're going to start to get a lot of the reveals. This is reveal season for BlizzCon. Things that will start to come out will be the schedule, the floor map, you know, all the things people in the past have used to speculate and try to figure out, ooh, there's a missing block here. What does it mean for Diablo? Are you getting an announcement or something? So you can definitely expect to see a lot of those videos coming to the channel as we figure out all the little details of what's going to happen at BlizzCon 2019. Of course, some speculation from the community and such, but make sure you follow, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, and you won't miss any of the videos, but today's specific one has to do with the virtual ticket that has just been revealed with all the details. It is uh, now available for purchase. You can see here it is $49.99, which is the new increased price. Um, previously, it's been about $50 or $40, I believe, in the past uh, USD. But now, uh, I think last year it went up to $49.99, and that one, I think one of the driving factors behind that was you got a lot more uh, time to watch. Usually it's only like two weeks after in the past that you could watch the virtual ticket videos on demand and stuff, and I think now it's like a month plus. Um, actually, wow, actually it's much longer here. Replays will be available until March 31st, 2020. So this is a, a nice extended amount of time because usually what happens is you get the virtual ticket, you might actually go to BlizzCon or you know you only watch a few things that you care about and then you're kind of rushing to get through all the other content that you might want to see before that time runs out so you get the most value out of your virtual ticket. But now you actually have tons of uh, opportunity here so that's great. Broadcasts in a Pacific Standard Time and there's going to be some content in different uh, English or languages and such so things to look out for there. Now, the thing, of course, that we want to hit on the most is that with the virtual ticket, there are the in-game goodies that come with that. So if you're not going to BlizzCon and you still want to benefit from getting all the uh, things that you can get if you play multiple Blizzard games, it usually adds to some value for the virtual ticket because there's some digital pets and stuff that get linked into your account when you match up your virtual ticket with your Battle.net account. So there's a couple of things here that the Overwatch skin will be available before BlizzCon, but the Diablo 3 item and Hearthstone item will be available on or before December 31st, 2019. So that's the end of the year. And I think that's kind of intriguing because usually if something's available before, then it's not a great reveal of anything, right? So that would mean like, you know, it's something that you already can expect or know. Here's a D.Va skin or something. You know D.Va's in Overwatch already, right? But if they're going to say, oh, the Diablo 3 thing isn't going to come out until much after, perhaps, or, you know, the day of BlizzCon or something, then maybe they have something up their sleeves. <laughs> so I guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. There's also another item on the D3, or another note on the D3 item. It's available PC version only. So sorry for you console lovers out there, people that play on the Switch and such. PC only. Uh, and then for the Overwatch one, you have to redeem the skins on console. You got to link your Blizzard account with your console account. World of Warcraft items not available for WoW Classic. Internet connection Blizzard account required. So that's, uh, you know, there's some more details here. I'll throw a link to this particular uh, BlizzCon virtual ticket page in the video description. You can uh, get more details on it. Uh, however, this page is more interesting. This is further details on the virtual ticket. It kind of lets you know some of the things that you're going to get. But if we want to look through the actual digital goods, there are some previews here. So for World of Warcraft, there's going to be some sound here. So bear with me. I'm not sure how loud it'll be. but So this is what you've got here. Some pets for World of Warcraft. Seems pretty interesting for those of you that enjoy that game. Again, these won't will not be part of uh, WoW Classic. This is just for, I guess, retail. <laughs> uh, Overwatch here. Let's take a look. This is my first time looking at some of these things, too. We've got an Illidan Genji Legendary skin. That seems pretty cool. We've gotten some Illidan stuff for Diablo 3 in the past, too, actually. Uh, I think for Legion, we got Illidan wings and such. So there's some things there. Seems pretty cool. Hearthstone, no preview, right? It looks like maybe some card, a golden card that we'll get, a card back. Um, so here it says, sit down for a duel with a special BlizzCon 2019 card back and surprise your opponent with a board clearing combo while their guard is down. 
prepare to draw a mysterious golden legendary card to be revealed at BlizzCon. So you'll know what you're going to get for this item for Hearthstone at the actual show. Heroes of the Storm. Uh, looks like we're getting here. Commemorative BlizzCon spray and portrait. Right into battle on a celestial deep crawler mount. So that's what this uh, crab looking thing is. Um, and just some, you know, flavor text there. Starcraft 2. Equip a trio of Brood War era unit skins and portraits when you go into battle. Scout for a Zerg ambush. A classic battle cruiser. Classic ultralisk. And Tassadar sacrifice with a classic carrier. And you might be noticing there's no Diablo here. No mention. Hmm. That's peculiar, right? There's going to be a pair of wings tucked right here at the bottom, by the way, for Diablo 3, PC, Mac version only. Why is there no preview of these wings? Why is there no description? Why is it coming later? There's so many questions here uh, marked as to exactly what's going down. It is, it is worth noting that it is for Diablo 3. I mean, it makes sense, though, because that is the product that is out for the Diablo franchise at the moment. So, of course, the in-game goody to actually receive a digital good would have to be for something that already exists. So that is something to keep in mind. But I, I just don't know. I think there you could potentially start to speculate. I don't know if the wings would be a preview of something to come in a future game. I don't know if that makes sense. But uh, let me hear what you guys think. I would love to hear some conspiracy theories. Let's get conspiracy season rolling. We have a whole month to go before BlizzCon arrives on November 1st, 2019. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Again, links to all this stuff in the video description. Speculation season's here. Let's chat it up. Until next time, guys. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.